It came. All right. At least I think it came. I'm not really sure because in case you haven't noticed, this does not look very much like a, um, a ring or a swan for that matter. I think this is it. Dude, look at that. Look, it could have fallen out. Holy moly. That's not good. That's not good. U.S. Post Office. Oh man, look at that water damage. Oh man. Oh my word. Let's, let's examine this. Notice the water damage, it's all wet. It's ripping open. Dude, looks like somebody got into this. We're gonna find out. And I have a knife, so we may have to go on a hunt. Not for Red October. Not for Red October, but it'd be amazing if Sean Connery was in this package. Dude, this is like wet. How is this wet? Excuse me. Like, excuse me. Uh, look, I just ripped it with my hand. With no. Excuse me, U.S. Post Office. You are. You're awesome, but. Okay. Okay. So here we go. Um, Howard Payne Journal. Okay. The trick is to disguise the ring. So that there's no way that anyone would be able to tell what's in the package. You order it overnight USPS because UPS and FedEx are actually less reliable when overnighting. Then you have to make sure you do not ask to insure the package because that's an instant uh, tip off. You notice there's delivery confirmation. I had to sign for the package, but there's no... Dude, it was only $1 postage. It should have been like 35. That's nuts. And now I'm going to read a sweet letter. Oh, you know, so here's a letter. Oh, car insurance. I need that. My parents are kind of sticking. You know, the. And, uh, and then you just, I mean, you're enjoying the read and then you turn to the reference section of the book. And here you are in the references. That was good reading, but not that good. Please note, waterproof. How do I get into this without hurting anything? This is taped so well. This is so exciting. Oh my gosh. Because you have to understand what I'm holding in my hands right now. This is like my ability to marry the most amazing woman in the world. I just get all almost crying here thinking about it. I'm shaking. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Wow. <clears throat> wow. This is my grandmother's ring. out of focus. Now, um, unless I'm sorely mistaken, this is not Linea's size at all. Uh oh. I mean, maybe she'd wear it as a thumb ring. <laughs> 